Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Phil and here I have a 42108 mobile crane which is quite a nice model I think but it has a few weaknesses and I tried to overcome these by modifying it a little bit and here I would like to show you what I changed. One thing I didn't like in the original model was that the front outriggers did not have an extension mechanism. You just had to pull them out and therefore I coupled them to the front signals for extension. Since the signals now control the front outriggers, I had to reroute the steering to the back. Another point was that I thought raising the boom was too slow and tedious in the original build and therefore I replaced the knob here with a crank and now raising the boom is much smoother and faster. The downside is that this way you transmit a lot of force to the model and therefore you have to hold the superstructure so it doesn't get agitated too much. In the original model the superstructure is turned by just pushing against it and here I added a simple little mechanism where you can turn the superstructure with this knob here. I'm not 100% happy with that because it could use some gearing down and also accessibility is an issue and I think it might be improved if you flip the turntable and then accommodate the turning mechanism in the superstructure. Um, however, when I tried I failed to get it right, but uh, maybe I'll make an update at some point. I also replaced the knobs that control the string and the extension of the boom with clutches so that these mechanisms go smoother. On top of the superstructure there are these small levers that lock the string or the boom extension and in the original model they were too light in the back part so they had a tendency to flip to the front on their own and I just made them a bit heavier so that they stay back if you want them to stay back. The original model also had this issue where if you extend the boom and then rotate the superstructure by 90 degrees it uh, had a tendency to tip over and there's two ways this can be solved. One is to add bigger outriggers. There is a modification by M longer that does it or you add more weight to the back of the superstructure here. This part of the model is supposed to be very heavy. As you can see it reads two tons here on every segment of the stickers but in the vanilla model it is actually very light because it is hollow. Therefore I extended this section of the model and put a battery box inside simply to make it heavier. It's not actually connected to anything. Then I tried to improve the look of the model a little bit by closing this section off here. I just used the parts that I had lying around so you might want to choose other colors for that. And lastly I added mirrors to the cabin. If you like my modifications and want to recreate them, you can find free building instructions and a parts list on rebrickable.com. Thanks for watching.